Hello everybody, my name is Katemo, welcome back to the video of Hitman 3. We're gonna continue this series. Now, in the last video, we started off with the first mission, which I was absolutely garbage at. Uh, I managed to actually play on my own free time the same mission over and over again. I was I went and did it pretty fondly, pretty good. And uh, I'm actually pretty decent at the game now. <laughs> I just had to actually play on my own free time and figure out the controls, figure out the schemes a little bit. And I'm going to be playing on casual because I was playing on the difficulty professional. It wasn't giving me the options. Uh, it wasn't showing me anything. So on casual boys, which is the easiest mission, obviously the easiest level that you can get. Uh, you can, um, you get everything. They show you everything basically uh, in the game and stuff like that. So I'm a, a level four online. And uh, right now it looks like that uh, after completing a bunch of stuff, they gave me like some uh, special colors and stuff like that. As you can see, there's white pistol, there's a red pistol. Now I decided to go for the red suit, crimson, a crimson, a red suit. It looks beautiful, boys. I'm gonna show you, uh, there we go. So there's a premium white suit, ultimate black suit, the green streak, which is really, it looks it looks great. And then there's the regular suit, but I'm gonna rock with the, um, with this one, unless there's a uh, there's a coat as well, you can always go with the coat as well. But I'm gonna go with the crimson red suit, boys. It looks beautiful. We're not gonna be wearing for too long, but uh, along with that, we're gonna have the pistol, uh, the red pistol, because it goes with the the suit basically. So that's pretty much it. We're getting uh, some stuff right off the bat. Our objective, obviously, is to kill Alexa uh, Carlisle. Let's see what we got. So, um, Carlisle family is an ancient English origin, of of course. Sounds like it. You get all of this right here. So, uh, we're, we need to kill her off, find the case file, and we need to find the case file as well. All right. So, we are gonna try and do all of this. Let's uh, let's do the briefing first, though. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? How are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead, according to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetry. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the continent. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Alright, so there it is, boys. Let's just start the mission up. Right there. So we got uh, our clue right here. Uh, looks like she was part of a big empire and stuff like that. And now she uh, came back from the dead just to uh, solidify our stuff and everything. We just gotta uh, take a chance on that one and try and kill her off once and for all. And uh, find the, the missing case file as well that could help us out. Now, somehow I doubt that killing her will end the things, boys. It's only the second mission of the game, so obviously it's not going to be the end of it. 
younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Well, I don't know how I'm going to not be uh, suspicious at all with that red suit on, boys. But uh, still, nevertheless, we'll try our luck. I guess we come up, we start off with the pistol. So that's always great. This is a beautiful place, by the way. Uh, this game, it's a classic Itman game pretty much already. You can see it's basically had uh, the same look as the other games and stuff like that. It looks beautiful. Got the Bentley and stuff right here. All right, let me see right here. We got some sort of opportunity. As you can see, now it's actually showing me the opportunities and stuff, so I know what I'm doing. Hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. All right, so they're basically telling me a uh, view of case file. Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. So this is one of the options right here. So we can decide to basically take that option and basically uh, take him over. Now, how do I? Oh, God, what the hell? Get off there, man. Good Lord. All right. So, yeah, let's uh, try and get uh, from this side instead. We got to take him out somehow. It should be pretty easy to get past the gate right, right here. Let's just vault over. We're actually trespassing now, but we should be all right. The guards are going to see me somehow. Oh, there's guards everywhere, yeah. This is very, uh, very much uh, well protected, this place. I can't go through the mud or anything, really? I have to go through the bridge? Everybody's gonna, uh, is gonna see me if I go through the bridge. That's kind of stupid. Alright, let me go to the bridge then. Fuck, fuck it then. Yeah, everybody's gonna notice me. Like, I'm the, I'm the one dude with the big red suit on. Definitely not suspicious, uh, suspicious at all right now. I gotta follow him around. It's the only clue we got right now. The only option we've got is to take him, uh, take over his uh, identity. But uh, how we're gonna do that? That's gonna be rough, boys. You know what? There's actually a guard right here. I can probably let me try and subdue him. There we go. I'm gonna try and subdue this guy, the gardener, uh, disguised as him already. They got already switched this guy. So we're gonna drag his body. Uh, try to hide him somewhere that nobody can see it. I think behind that rock, nobody is going to see that body or, or anything. I should, we should be all right. There we go. And now I think we can enter this place. No problems. No dizzy. So uh, let's let's just go right in. I, I, I like my red suit, boys, but ain't going to do the trick if I want to get inside here. All right, so it looks like they're patting people down. Are they going to be patting me down? Because I do have a gun, so... Uh, I don't know. Gardens are not allowed here? Okay. So I got to find my way inside the building. Uh, another way in. Um, speciously enough, the windows are right open. Right here. Why not, boys? They're giving me the uh, the easy options right now. I gotta find a new suit. Uh, this guy's coming by this place. So if I can just get him right here. There we go. If I can just get him right here. Oh, there we go. Just like that, boys. That was easy. All right. Uh, this guy has him. All right. There we go. So we got this disguise. And now we can drag his body. There's a, literally a locker right there. Let's dump him up in the locker. Or it's not a locker, but it's, it's like a closet and stuff. And now we're good. So we got the um, the detective disguise, the detective on the case, boys. Let's see what we can do now. So meet Alexa Carlisle in the foyer. So there she is. Examination of a potential crime scene 
is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby of London. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. All right, then. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshment? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I start the investigation. I could uh, go for the investigation. I could look around, maybe. Let's just start the investigation. I prefer to get started, as you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. All right. The butler is going to show me uh, to the scene, boys. Uh, we're going to play detective for a while and see where this leads us. Now that I know all the like the special psych stuff, the special missions we can do, I'm going to try and do them all in one video, if it's possible at all, boys. Uh, we're going to try at least. If I can finish this uh, this mission, it's by itself in the first, uh, 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 like without having uh, to do it in a, in a video entirely, you know. This is a beautiful place. It's like a little manor, its own manor. Yeah, well, she'll be actually dead when I leave. I don't have to tell him that. Before all right, so follow Mr. Finsby. Yeah, that's all I need to do. So it's just takes you a long time, my girl, my boy. Just go in, my guy. All right, nothing suspicious here at all, is it? Suicide letter, huh? some information for you so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene this is mr zachary's room to my right all right let's go do that investigation okay, boys let's see what we got let's close that door you'll get to the bottom of this yeah let's see what we got right here so this is the place where everything went down uh there's a book down here but apparently there's nothing here uh pull the book what is going on here a secret entrance. Well, what do we have? Hidden door, boys. Already we got something suspicious right here going on. Uh, what about all this? There we go. There's the note. Suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Yes, it could. So let me see that intel. There we go. That's just an intel right there. It's not an actual mission story. All right, good. Uh, what about this? The laptop. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Definitely not. If he's shopping around, why would he uh, try to kill himself afterwards? Maybe he didn't like those boots. I don't know, boys. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Oh, my camera. Oh, that's the guy. That's the dead man. Okay. Uh, sure, the camera. There we go. I didn't even see him. There we go, boys. Scan him up. Let's see if he got any uh, signs of vital uh, stuff. There we go. Let me take the coins, boys. Spread shows time of death at around the 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. See, what's poison? Interesting. So, all of this. Sit down. I don't. Uh, I don't need to sit down or anything. So, uh, we already know it was Ports Investigates Zachary's ba uh, bedroom. We already did. Uh, what about this right here? Okay, so that's just a kitchen knife that we can take. Not going to take anything else right now, boys. Let's uh, look into this hidden uh, room that was right here, boys. Oh, hold on. Let's go. Let's go. Pull the book again. All right. Let's go in here. Let's see what we got. Passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Definitely could. What is this? Mention uh, stuff. Intel. Zachary's bedroom. Five of the six clues found. Already five out of six. Okay. A copy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. So there was another the assassin here. Crime scene 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. I don't know what that means. Let me do it really quick. Oh. 
is like a peeping thumb and stuff like that. Oh, interesting, boys. That's really cool. All right, so, and you're creepy at the same time. Let's open that door. Where does that lead? To the main floor. Okay, so that all means the main floor. So ask uh, Mr. about, okay, so we just need to ask him about more information, I guess. We got pretty much a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we also have, I do want to look around. Maybe we're going to have some more clues going on right here. Uh, you never know, right? If we go up. Sorry, sir. Can't let you I can't go there. All right. It's all good. I can't go upstairs, boys. Disguised at least as the um, detective. So we're, I'm going to have to uh, to stay in this, uh, these floors. All right. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Let's go downstairs. How do I get uh, downstairs right now? I ran the wrong way, I think. Just gotta talk. I, I can't, like, I, I, I want to jump down, but I know if I jump down, I'm going to, I'm going to look like, uh, <laughs> someone special. All right. So let's just, um, let's just talk to Butler, see if he's got more information about this. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. And that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madam's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I well, I'm not thinking about you, my guy. I'm thinking about uh, the Madam. Here is the material that I've prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their corpses. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you. Uh, Zachary Carlisle, Alex, uh, Alex's younger brother and, fa uh, and fellow residents of the uh, manor. Zachary was found dead in his bed and despite the suicide note and doors locked from the inside, Alexa is convinced he was murdered. Seems like that type of thing. Uh, it's another one of these boys. So these are all the little... So these... It's like we're playing literally uh, uh, eight, uh, tw uh, 12 nights or whatever. Knives Out boys. We're literally playing Knives Out right now. That's literally what we're doing. We're playing Clue, yeah, I guess. That's really cool. So the oldest child. We've got the middle child, the youngest child, the wife of Gregory, uh, son of Emma and Gregory, okay. But and the butler. Puts himself as a uh, as a thing. Okay, so, so we got all these little persons. The, the question motive. suspects. Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? I think I would like to search for clues first before asking for alibis. Uh, you always want to have the, uh, as many clues as possible before asking uh, stuff, right? Asking around. So, uh, plus, I don't even know where the, uh, these guys are. Like, the, uh, the suspects are. It's not showing me, so... Uh, before that, we're just going to uh, look around really quick and uh, see if we can't uh, figure out more uh, more uh, more stuff, I guess. Right, more clues. Area discovered sitting room. Okay, so we got a brand new area. Let's see right here. Megaphone, we can uh, turn that on. This, uh, this whole thing is going to be really cool, boys. These guys are uh, doing their own thing, okay. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Okay, so let's see the intel right here. So Emma and Gregory's room, uh, four clues found. Okay, so which door it is? Re this, re uh, this is the bathroom. This is not it. So that's not the right one. I, I didn't look at the right one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Which room leads to, uh, to this one? Which one did she uh, talk about? Pick up. Oh, pick up newspaper. What would I need a newspaper for, boys? Oh, well. Uh, let me actually uh, do that. So it's really cool that we get to... I'm going to need keys for this. Yeah, so I'm going to need keys in order to get there. I imagine um, housewives, they have... Uh, not housewives, but um, the, uh, these uh, girls. They, I imagine they have the, uh, the keys, right? Or maybe the butler does. Or maybe a security guard does uh, have the keys as well. Uh, library, there we go. We got some stuff right here. So the library could be something. Uh, oh, there's one of the guys right here I can talk to. Uh, but uh, I'm going to just stay here for... Um, not stay here, but I'm going to just take a look around. We got some letter opener. 
Let me uh, do my thing really quick. Coins. So there's the girl we need to kill. First off, we have to do a whole investigation just to draw her out, I guess, in the open and kill her off. Seems like a very uh, stuff. So mysterious switch missing item. What is this, boys? Interesting, isn't it? Okay, uh, I don't think I need to go there just yet. The, uh, it said there was a door right here, but I need to somehow find, uh, find a key to these rooms. Now, how am I going to find a key? Conclude investigation. No, I'm not done yet. So we, we're just gonna We're just gonna go ahead and do our thing boys. We're gonna play detective for a while All right, so I see some pathways right here that I can take boys. Now it's good. It's risky, but I can do it for sure I can vault over and try and get through these rooms right there. So I'm that's what I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna try and vault over really quick Hopefully nobody's gonna notice me, but if I vault over I, can, I think the all the windows are Open for some reason, which is super strange. Everybody's windows are open. Uh, strangely enough, it's all the, the rooms that I need to get into, which, uh, which is fantastic as well. I hope it's one of these rooms that I need to get into. I think this is Rebecca's room. We're going to get inside and f uh, see if we can find out anything right here. Vault over. And nope, that's, that's just another entry point that I didn't need. That's great. Uh, move past the window. There we go. Let's just keep going, boys. So we're going to keep going right there. Maybe there's another window open for me uh, somehow. Uh, there we go. There's actually a pathway through here that we can take. Let's see what we got, boys. If I don't have the keys, I might as well... Oh, no, 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 no. Climb through. There we go. Just like that. So we're through. Re Rebecca's room. There we go. What do, you, what do you know, boys? Found a way to get past all of this. So investigate. What, what was she doing last night? Or la I guess la uh, the last day before yesterday. That Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. A conference call, huh? So it might not be her. Uh, bedroom or Rebecca, the room is located. So we got more clues. Oh, what's this? Interact with the painting. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A hidden entrance. What do you know? She has a hidden entrance as well. Everybody's got a hidden entrance for some reason. Whoa, 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 whoa. Close that thing. Close that thing. All right. So peep in. So apparently she she could spy on uh, on this girl right here. That's interesting. So we got to... We can literally kill her off easily right there, boys. But I feel like the whole... The whole point of the detective mission is super crazy. It, it sounds fun to me to do so. I want to be really take my time and and try and chime in on what happened. I'm actually curious about the whole murderous thing. Okay, so I, I can't really... So there's a point right there, the point of entry. I can open this up. There we go. Area discovered. Now I'm actually trespassing right here. I could probably push him up. Let's try some some stuff right here. All right, we uh, pushed him off, and now we're gonna we're gonna subdue him. There we go, subdue this guard right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disguise as him as the lawyer. There we go, disguise us as the lawyer. And can I hide this body or can I just push on through him? I can hide him. I can hide his body. There we go. Perfect, boys. So. Uh, let's just hide his body. So both these guys are done. And I'm actually hiding as the lawyer now. Uh, let's just pick up some uh, these uh, these things right here. Pick up everything. Now everybody's searching because they probably saw the, the body. But that's fine by me. Let's see what we got. Investigate. Alright, so the lawyer. The lawyer's laptop. What do we got? This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Okay, so what do we got here then? The new intel, the lawyer's file. Files found at the lawyer's laptop revealing that uh, uh, she lost control of all of her assets, including uh, the manor. Wow. Uh, can I actually tell her in front like that? Like, can I actually... I want to kind of be the, the private investigator, but at the same time, you know, uh, I kind of want to be... Uh, figure out these rooms so what is this room right here okay so this is the room that we were in before so we don't need to be in there 
let, let's not be in there there we go uh, we're gonna be good here the lawyer can go anywhere I think I think he can even go up probably yeah, we're just gonna continuously go up boys disguise yourself as the private and the investigator yeah so they want me to be the private investigator. I can't go up there. Damn it. So I need to be a guard of some sort. So I'm just going to go back where I was. Going to go back where I was, boys, I guess. And uh, just switch uh, switch costumes again, I guess. So there we go. Let's just switch uh, private investigator. There we go. I've got the costume now. And uh, let's just get out of this room. We're going to be fine. Okay, there's gotta be... We didn't find anything else on the uh, on, uh, on the Rebecca's room, did we? Hold on, I gotta head back there because I don't think we found anything on Rebecca's room side. Uh, let me just do that. Get back here. Uh, yep, yeah. open this. How did nobody notice that there was hidden entrances everywhere in this goddamn manor? It's just crazy. Alright, so we're back here. That's... I imagine... That's not all the clues, right? There's got to be other clues. It, was there other clues for uh, Rebecca's room? I'm, I'm actually uh, interest, uh, intrigued right now. Not intel, but mission story. We're following this one right now. We got always uh, her final resting place. We can do both of these things, I guess, as well. But uh, I want to really do this one first. Let's see. Is there anything at all? All right, so there we go. That's the one I'm looking for, boys. So uh, Rebecca's room. Rebecca's laptop. Oh, so we got everything from her. Yeah, I don't think she is the killer, boys. Furnace office. We really got to uh, find out. So Emma in Gregory's room. We really got to find a way into uh, getting to basically... That's kind of true. There's probably another point, another uh, entrance, another door that we can go into. Right here. What is this? The climb through? What is this room right here? This is the same room, same room, boys. All right, so we're just gonna. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Cl uh, vault. No, no, don't vault over like that. God damn it. Climb through. All right, there we go. There we go. I just want to move past the window. I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna see if I can't uh, go on other uh, windows and stuff like that, right? Find other pathways, boys. This is how you do it. Climb and scale. There we go. Just like that. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, any other windows that are open for me that I could go into, boys? We'll find out in a minute. All right, so she's here again. I couldn't find a way to, uh, past these other rooms, boys. There is a, there's got to be a way, but I just can't find it right now. I really want to, I don't want to kill her right there and there uh, and then. So I really want to just do this the smart way. I could always talk to her and tell her about the, the fact that she doesn't have any, like... Uh, she doesn't have any assets left, but I don't know what, uh, how could I tell her that, you know? All right, so I, I do want to, the, the whole part of the mission, so question suspects and search locations of interest. I guess what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to question one of the first suspects we've got, which is actually over here. So we're just going to question him really quick while we're at it. Currently busy. Why is he busy? He's too busy to talk to the investigator. You gotta be kidding me, right? That's some bullshit right there, boys. You can't be too busy. Andre Carlisle. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Shit, it's a sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Do you have any answers or not? Are you gonna talk? I'm waiting for him to talk, boys. Give some courtesy, would you? There we go. Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? Okay, so ask about Zachary. What about Zachary? What did you think of Zachary? <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mum. 
I don't have to worry about the inbreeding so customary in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. Okay, so we got a lot of intel questioned. So he's been questioned. He says he found Zachary creepy, but I don't think he's the one. I don't think he's the one, boys. He doesn't seem like the one, to be honest. Uh, questioned. Uh, they both got questioned, to be honest. Uh, clarified up that front. He was working in his office last night. Does not have an alibi. So uh, it could be the butler, to be honest. Uh, we don't know about Emma just yet. Rebecca, alibi confirmed. So she definitely has an alibi. It's not her. We still need to talk to uh, three more people, I guess. We got to keep questioning him, though. Did you see anything suspicious? I don't like him. He could have done it. Okay, so he does think he does think uh, Mr. Fernsby could have done it. And I think that's it. I think that's it for this guy. So uh, that's pretty much it. So I don't think it's Patrick, boys. So if it's not Patrick, who could it be? It's one of the other dudes for sure. So let's uh, let's just find out really quick. Oh, there, there's one of them right there. Rebecca, I need to speak to you. son he disappeared straight after dinner you know i think he might be in some sort of trouble edward wanted to go as well but gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine i swear gregory enjoyed edward's discomfort over staying here i had a conference call with my new york office at nine so i spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making a list for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask, Sam? Okay, so it looks like um, Emma might be the main, the prime suspect right now, boys. It looks like it. Uh, I'm going to keep, uh, yeah, ask about Zachary. Zachary, did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do Suspicious activity? I may be wrong. But I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. All right. So two of them so far said that they, they found something suspicious about Mr. Fernsby, which is the butler. So already, boys, they tend we tend to go for either Emma or um, I guess Emma or this guy or the butler right now. Seems like either one of these guys could be the suspicious uh, suspicious one, for sure, boys. It seems like it is the case right now. Now this is the trophy room. I don't think there's anybody in here. We're not gonna find too much in here, to be honest. This goddamn Maori pa paddle. I don't know why I would need that. Don't think I do. Uh, let's go inside the main place. This is where we're gonna find these people. There we go. There's there's Emma right there. Now supposedly she was acting suspicious. Let's just talk to her really quick. Emma Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. you everybody's a suspect, my girl. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything else you want to know? Okay, so questioned. She said uh, she had a migraine. She went up. All right. How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? 
In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Okay, so Emma is still my one of my suspects, boys. Uh, she hasn't convinced me of, any, of anything. Uh, two of the people so far, still, two of the people t pointed towards the butler. Uh, and one in particular, Patrick said, Emma looks suspicious. A uh, or did you, this girl said, Emma look a little bit suspicious. So maybe it's one of these two. It's still one of these two. Uh, what about uh, ask for alibi? There we go. Gregory Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday? wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> uh, the, the short of it, uh, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout and I was back here just before midnight is that all let's find out out if that's the truth uh so he said he was there back there before midnight uh who said that uh she was i think uh she gave us a lot of information right so uh rebecca had that zachary was talkative okay so uh which one is that that i'm talking to right now i'm talking to gregory okay what did she say about so edward and gregory went to local pub after having drinks in the mansion uh, okay, so they went to the local pub. What did he say? He claims to have been in a pub. All right, good. So far as that adds up. Tell me about Zachary. Zach, huh. such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle, but who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. All right, well, there's that right here, boys. So it says, uh, other than that, Gregory is amused at his mother's apparent uh, mistakes. Okay. Describes Zachary as an alcoholic, recluse with a passion for rare plants. Okay, so that's two of them who think it's a suicide, but that obviously it's not suicide, boys. There's obviously something more to this. Uh, there's one more person we haven't talked to. Uh, we haven't talked to, I believe this is the man we haven't talked to yet. Right? This is the only one we haven't talked to. This mu uh, you must be uh, you must be uh, the other guy. So uh, I need to talk to you for a second. Uh, excuse me, buddy. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. You're, just, you're being suspicious. All right. Uh, let me. I, I do need to talk to you really quick. So we'll find out if that's the guy we need. Uh, if he has anything, Edward Carla, uh, Carlisle. Uh, we'll talk to him once. He, once he, I guess he's finished uh, with. With this, I need to talk to him, man. I need to talk to you, my guy. Yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He never admitted that until the end of his time, but I found this whole thing upsetting. And he wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. Uh, you should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. D did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. If that's all, I have a speech to write. 
Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? My mother will surely have strong opinion on this bastard's death. Dark Queen. So that's all we got? That's all we got out of him, boys. So alibi confirmed for both these two. It's uh it's not these three. It's already not these three, so it's one of these three. It's not Patrick. It's clearly not Patrick. For me, it's clear that it's not him. And uh, it's clearly not, it's not a suicide or anything. It's poison. So it's either Emma or it's Mr. Fernsby, boys. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be rough. It's going to be complicated a little bit. Uh, can I talk to the main girl? Uh, I, I need to talk to uh, the main girl, man. I don't know about... Uh, I don't know if... I feel like it might be... I don't know, boys. I feel like it, it might be the butler, to be honest. It, it could be the butler. He doesn't have an alibi. So, obviously, you know. Uh, it could be Emma as well. She was a bit sus, but I don't know, boys. Let's find out really quick. Where's, uh, where's the, the girl? Where's the main girl? Alright, so there she is. I just need to talk to her. I need to talk to you really quick. Uh, girl, I need to talk to you in order to uh, to tell you about your affairs too. Oh, okay. I need to see the butler first. So I do have to literally finish the case. Question is, so search clues of entrance. Okay, so we found that some sort of entrance, boys. So this is uh, first be uh, first be's entrance. So how do we get in there? I don't know. We gotta find a way to get in there somehow. We can get from here. There we go. Staff discovered. Oh, we got some stuff right here. We can uh, talk to Rosie. Maybe she's got something for us. There we go. So we got more clues, to be honest. All right, so we do have more clues. I just need to talk to her really quick. Hold on. I, I need to ask you some questions. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I, I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner, and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Okay, so hold on. She said she spent the alibi confirms. It's not Patrick, boys. It's not Patrick. We need more questions about uh, these two. Just need more, man. More answers. It's either Emma or it's him. Uh, I don't want to play with this. I don't want to create any mistakes or anything. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff going on. So, okay. So this is the place. This is the area we are in now. In the main area. Let's open this up. What is this? Okay, so this is the main place. What about this place? Okay, what is this? Okay. So, we're here. We're back here again. I need to find clues about the butler. We know Patrick is not the guy. You need to find clues about the butler. So somehow I need a key or some sort. I really need a key, boys. But how am I going to get the key? Um, from the... For the butler and stuff. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Well, we got something right here. We're in some sort of... Uh, after, clo uh, after room and stuff like that. Oh, what is this? Okay, so we're here. We're back here again. Damn it. So there's nothing here at all that I can take. Maybe a ranch. Like I got some. There we go. A ranch right here. I need to find a way to enter the room, like Emma's room or something. I don't have anything, boys. It's a bit frustrating. Uh, lead pipe. Maybe I can use that to um, crawl open the doors. To be honest, I can probably use that. Hopefully, I can because right now I just don't know what to do. I am completely lost as to what I'm supposed to do, boys. So, um, we're here. Lead pipe. Unlock the door. No, I really need like a crowbar of some sort. Hopefully nobody's noticing that. All right, good. We're good. Let's see what we got. Is a uh, list. So, we got an item contained. What is this? So, first clue right here. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of clues. So, planet golf club. Fire poker. I don't need that. Mention mi oh yes key obtained good what is this uh key obtained so mention ma mention master key a key which unlocks every door in the matter perfect that means i can go into the rooms boys 
Oh, he tried to Death burn a done. book. He tried to book a book. All right. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. So he didn't write it himself. Oh, all right, all right, all right. What about this one? Painkiller. Oh, we got some poison. Use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madam Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madam Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? Well, I'm, I want to do more detecting because right now, look at this, boys. So if we take a look really quick, uh, suspects. So now we know it's not him, but viable suspect. It, like, it, we know it's not him, but he was one of them. Uh, he, he is a murderer, but it's not the, the murderer we're looking for right now. So it's clearly Emma. So I just want to make sure that we pick the right one. We know it's Emma. I just want to go to the room. Tell everyone that uh, we're good. So let's just try and find our room really quick. And open it because we got the mention master key now. So we can open the room without any problem whatsoever. And since we can do that now, that's going to be perfect. It's going to allow us to, to really do whatever we want. So unlock this door. There we go. All right. So which room is this? Uh, I think that might be Emma's room, right? I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the only, yeah, that's the Emma's room. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. So she said Alexa and Zachary killed uh, the murderer, but it was the butler as well. Apparently everybody uh, killed him, I guess. Uh, any, uh, any other options that we, uh, we got here? So Emma uh, disconnected. You piece of shit. Retry. Reconnect right now. There we go. I don't know why I got disconnected right there. So a uh, letter. There we go. So did we get everything? I think we got everything. Oh, we need. Oh, no. One out of four clues. Yeah. So we got a lot more clues to come by right here. What about this walking crane? Oh, what is this? Dump. Oh, no, that's just a missing, uh, missing stuff. Oh, okay. What is? What does it say here? So missing propane flask. Huh. So I need a, I need a propane flask. What would I need that for? What about this? There's something uh, in here. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Why is the key missing indeed? Let me uh, get the letter opener, boys. Uh, let's get a bunch of stuff. There's nothing at all right here. Why is that here? Yeah, exactly. What is that? So three out of four clues. The room is located in the middle of the floor. So we need to find one more clue, I guess. Uh, we still have the, the so we got the walking crane, I guess. Let me just get the coins again. Is there anything else? Anything else at all that... Uh, that uh, we could find right here. It doesn't look like I can find anything. Like there's literally nothing I can pick up. I mean, yes, there's this thing right here, but the, the crane, but I mean, I, I imagine it's this. So missing a uh, propane flask. I need some sort of propane flask in order to, uh, to dump this shit in. So how do we, how am I going to do that? All right. So, it is what it is. If we frame the butler, it is what it is. I know it's Emma, but I don't have all the clues. I don't have enough clues, boys, so I can't do anything right now. I, I can't do anything about it. So uh, it's just a shame, really. I, I can't can't get enough clues about Emma and stuff. I know I, we, I know it's her for sure, but yeah, what can you do at this point, you know? I don't have enough clues. I don't know how to get the last clue, to be honest. 
I mean, I could have went to the garden maybe and find out the, the actual last clue and stuff, but at, at some point we gotta finish this up. Alright, let's step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. Alright, there we go. So now it's time that we kill her off. So mission story complete. All we need to do, eliminate the... So we need to find the case file first. We need to find the case file and kill her off afterwards. So let's just try and find a case file real quick, all right? Uh, there's a case file I need to find, so I'm going to find it before killing her. Making sure that I get everything right here. Pick up uh, the the rifle. I don't need that right now. That would be pretty bad. Uh, how do I find a case file, man? Damn. I don't know. What is this? Dump? Okay. So we can dump a bunch of stuff. I don't... Yeah, there's not more uh, much stuff uh, left that I can do, so it doesn't look like uh, case file is not even in there. I don't see any case file, boys. So I don't know. Maybe it's it. Maybe it's here. Hold on. Nope, because that's just an apple. What about this? What is this right here? Uh, that's just a letter opener. So nothing. I I don't see any case files, boys. Oh, this is it right there. That's the one right there. So it's behind that painting. I'm ready. Hello, sir. There we go. So what is this? We know it's behind that painting. The case file is behind that painting. We already know it. All right, so. Uh, I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to talk. Let's go. I'm ready to present my conclusion. Very well. Let's talk in my office. All right, there we go. Finally. Now, is she going to tell everyone to just leave? She's probably going to tell everyone to leave, which is going to allow me to kill her off and then take the, the thing that's there. That's probably what's going to happen here, boys. I really like that mission. So far, it's a really good mission. Please, go ahead. Accuse Emma. Man, I want to accuse Emma, but, you, you know, uh, whatever. The butler, Mr. Fernsby, killed Zachary. I found pills in his office that matches the poison that killed your brother. Furthermore, I found Zachary's notebook, half burned, in Mr. Fernsby's fireplace. It showed that Zachary intended to publish a written confession to a murder the two of you committed nearly 50 years ago. The murder of your older brother, Montgomery. That's outrageous. We did no such thing. No need to feign innocence. I know a killer when I see one, and my discretion is assured. The papers also described how Mr. Fernsby helped you stage the murder of Montgomery as an accident. I believe he killed Zachary not to be exposed as an accomplice to murder. Sweet Fernsby. You are wrong, Mr. Whitmer. He did not do it to protect himself. He did it to protect the Carlisle legacy. Mr. Fernsby, like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this room. I understand Fernsby's actions, and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have. Fernsby was very fond of Zachary, and I am sure his decision will haunt him to the day he dies. About your reward, have you considered an amount? A case file? A case file, my girl. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Arthur Edwards? The constant? That must mean you're I expected you'd show up, but you're not here to kill me. If you were, you would have already. The enemy of my enemy, I suppose. You can have it. You earned it. 
Well, there we go. See, we don't need to kill her. We don't need to kill her off, boys. We, uh, she's gonna give us the case file without us having to kill her off. That's flawless right there. That's what I'm calling flawless right there. I need some privacy. Thank you. Alright, well, there's the case file. View the intel, boys. The case file Alexa Carla has compiled on Arthur Edwards. Good we got the case you. file. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Time to take care of her now. It's time to kill her off, boys. There, there she goes. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Easy as that, boys. The easiest mission ever. I like that a lot, man. I did. I think I did pretty flawless there. Nobody saw me kill her. Uh, I went pretty easy. I went. I played detective the entire time. I framed the wrong person, but in the end, in the end, it didn't really matter that much because um, at the end of the day, you know what happened is she said that uh, she wouldn't do anything about it. So it didn't really matter that much at the end of the day, but. It still felt great to play detective and even if I framed the wrong person, like I, I literally framed someone, I, I, I said the wrong, I, I, t I told everyone about the wrong person and everything. Even that happened, it doesn't happen, it doesn't matter to me. You know what I mean? It's just, it's fine. Uh, I want to, I want to go from the front door. That's how badass I want to be, boys. Let's just get out of here from the front door, to be honest. This is where we came from, so... We might as well. There we go. Searching. So now they're searching. They saw the dead body, of course. I I'm going to be just leaving from the front door, to be honest. It's uh, as easy as that. And uh, the butler's just going to have to live with all of this, man. We did a pretty flawless job, in my opinion. Uh, as flawless as it can be for a guy like me, at least. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy about this mission, boys. Now, obviously, I'm going to replay this mission on my own free time. And do the two other missions that they're giving us as an option but uh, I really like this this mission was really fun just to do the the whole uh, detective thing it was it was just super fun to do it all right open it up I'm leaving I'm leaving one of my car to what did they got to them what happened oh boy Something bad happened, didn't it? Oh well, I got what I needed. I did what I needed to do here. Alright, let's see what we got. We got that one. Close the big peeping 47. Mission story. Don't kill the messenger. Matter of loyalty. Elementary. There we go. We got all of these. We got a couple of these, boys. We did pretty alright. 23 XP. Total XP. Uh, gained. Let's see how far we're gonna get. Uh, 4 out of 5 mission rating. We weren't flawless, but we did pretty damn good for ourselves, boys. That's one thing that's for sure. Location mastery. Yeah, I feel like I did really good, boys. We get a got we got a couple of keys and stuff. Five out of uh, twenty. Uh, death in the family. I love that, boys, so much. Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the 
constant to start running. You think you've won. 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. For all that's left now. Or wasn't that something? So we just lost Gray, boys. We're now the two of us, and she's basically in the works to betray me. Send me off uh, bad places, I guess. Send me off to do uh, missions that I'm not supposed to be doing in the first place. So, all right, we got all this done. I really enjoyed this mission a lot, boys. It was uh, really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys uh, for the next mission. Keep it easy.